BrainWise presents Grade 4, Science Quiz B, Part 5 Hey there, Science Stars! Are you ready to put your brain to the test with some awesome science questions? Let's blast off! Number 1 Which layer of the Earth is mostly made of liquid iron? Again, which layer of the Earth is mostly made of liquid iron? The choices are A. Crust B. Mantle C. Outer core D. Inner core The correct answer is C. Outer core Number 2 Which layer of the Earth is solid and made of iron and nickel? Again which layer of the Earth is solid and made of iron and nickel? The choices are A. Crust B. Mantle C. Outer core D. Inner core The correct answer is D. Inner core Number 3 the crust is made up of, again, the crust is made up of, the choices are A. Liquid rock B. Solid rock C. Molten metal D. Gases The correct answer is B. Solid rock Number 4. Which layer is the coolest? Again, which layer is the coolest? The choices are A. Crust B. Mantle C. Outer core D. Inner core The correct answer is A. Crust Number 5. What causes earthquakes? Again, what causes earthquakes? The choices are A. Volcanoes erupting B. Movement of tectonic plates C. Rainstorms D. The sun The correct answer is B. Movement of tectonic plates Number 6 What are tectonic plates? Again, what are tectonic plates? The choices are A. Pieces of the Earth's core B. Pieces of the Earth's mantle C. Pieces of the Earth's crust D. Pieces of the Earth's atmosphere The correct answer is C. Pieces of the Earth's crust Excellent progress! We're about to dive into some more exciting questions! Take a little break! And let's get back to the science adventure! Number 7. What is a fault? Again, what is a fault? The choices are A. A crack in the Earth's crust B. A type of volcano C. A layer of the Earth D. A type of rock. The correct answer is A. A crack in the Earth's crust. Number 8. What is the instrument used to measure earthquakes? Again, what is the instrument used to measure earthquakes? The choices are A. Thermometer B. Barometer C. Seismograph D. Telescope The correct answer is C. Seismograph Number 9. Where do most earthquakes occur? Again, where do most earthquakes occur? The choices are A. In the middle of continents B. Along plate boundaries 
C. In the ocean. D. In the sky. The correct answer is B. Along plate boundaries. Number 10. What is magma? Again, what is magma? The choices are A. Liquid water. B. Liquid rock inside the earth. C. Solid rock. D. Gas. The correct answer is B. Liquid rock inside the earth. Number 11. What is a benefit of volcanic eruptions? Again, what is a benefit of volcanic eruptions? The choices are A. They destroy everything. B. They create fertile soil. C. They cause earthquakes. D. They make the air dirty. The correct answer is B. They create fertile soil. Number 12. What is a type of volcano? Again, what is a type of volcano? The choices are A. River volcano. B. Mountain volcano. C. Shield volcano. D. Cloud volcano. The correct answer is C. Shield Volcano Number 13. What is ash from a volcano made of? Again, what is ash from a volcano made of? The choices are A. Water B. Small pieces of rock C. Gas D. Ice The correct answer is B. Small pieces of rock. Number 14. Why is the Earth's core so hot? Again, why is the Earth's core so hot? The choices are A. Because of the sun's heat. B. Because of friction from the Earth's rotation. C. Because of radioactive decay and leftover heat from Earth's formation. D. Because of volcanoes. The correct answer is C. Because of radioactive decay and leftover heat from Earth's formation. Final stretch! You've got this! Just a few more science challenges to conquer! Let's finish strong! Number 15. How can buildings be designed to withstand earthquakes? Again, how can buildings be designed to withstand earthquakes? The choices are A. By making them very tall. B by making them out of heavy materials c by using flexible materials and strong foundations d by building them on steep slopes the correct answer is c by using flexible materials and strong foundations number 16 why do volcanoes erupt? Again, why do volcanoes erupt? The choices are A. Because they are angry B. Because of the buildup of pressure from magma C. Because of the weather D. Because of the tides The correct answer is B. Because of the buildup of pressure from magma. Number 17. What are some signs that a volcano might erupt? Again, what are some signs that a volcano might erupt? The choices are A. Swelling of the ground. B. Increased steam or gas release. C. Small changes in heat flow. D. All of the above.
The correct answer is D. All of the above. Number 18. Why are some areas more prone to natural disasters than others? Again, why are some areas more prone to natural disasters than others? The choices are A. Because of their location on Earth B. Because of their climate C. Because of their population density D. Because of their luck The correct answer is A because of their location on Earth. Number 19. What is the difference between continental crust and oceanic crust? Again, what is the difference between continental crust and oceanic crust? The choices are A. Continental crust is thicker and less dense than oceanic crust. B. Oceanic crust is thicker and less dense than continental crust. C. Continental crust is made of water. Oceanic crust is made of rock. D. They are the same thing. The correct answer is A. Continental crust is thicker and less dense than oceanic crust. Number 20. What is the scale used to measure the strength of an earthquake? Again, what is the scale used to measure the strength of an earthquake? The choices are A. Fahrenheit scale B. Richter scale C. Kelvin scale D. Celsius scale The correct answer is B. Richter scale Amazing work, Science Explorers! You've journeyed through the science quiz and emerged victorious! Enjoyed the quiz? Give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, and hit that subscribe button! Keep up the great work and see you next time! Way to go! Comment your score and see if you can beat it next time! Check out other videos from BrainWise!